Barnet uh, and its predecessor uh, is a political, a political fix, okay? So it was not based on needs, and there's an argument now that I think the Welsh Assembly Government undertook a piece of work which showed on a needs basis that Wales was clearly being uh, shortchanged in this, in this arrangement. And in fact, some of the Barnet arrangements have actually just unwound a little bit in, in the autumn statement, for example, <coughs> non-domestic rates. The treatment of non-domestic rates is not the same across Wales, Northern Ireland and Scotland. Wales was losing out that massively. The autumn statement changed that. So there are always opportunities to change the current Barnet for formula arrangement. I definitely think it's up for change. There's no doubt about that. The outcome, I think, will inevitably be a negotiation. And I think it's interesting you say that we ought to get more than the rest because we're putting in more. I don't know when the world... I don't, the, to me, the world didn't start in 1980. That's when North Sea taxes started. So there's an element of, OK, we have put in more in, in the 80s and the 90s and the 2000s as a consequence of North Sea taxes, but it is declining. So at some point, there has to be an awakening that says... What do we need to spend? What is fair across all jurisdictions that is giving us a fair balance of risk and reward? Uh, and if we at some point in that time scale have to put in a bit more to get a bit more later, maybe that's the reality of what the Barnett formula renegotiation will look like.